Mike Bosler, Superintendent of Goodrich Area Schools. And I'm Crystal Rousseau, Director of Business Services. We're here to discuss a little bit more about the upcoming May 7th sinking fund election. Sinking funds provide a source of no-interest, pay-as-you-go revenue designed to fund ongoing repairs and updates to school facilities. Recently, sinking fund provisions have been amended. Now sinking fund revenue can also be used to fund the purchase of real estate for building sites, school security improvements, the acquisition and upgrading of technology, and the acquisition and maintenance of student transportation vehicles. Goodrich's sinking fund proposal is essential to the school district's long-range facilities improvement process. In 2019, Goodrich Area Schools identified more than $64 million in needed repairs and updates. We decided the best way to address these and future facility needs was to plan a series of bond proposals that would not change the tax rate to reduce the financial burden on our taxpayers. These bonds, augmented with a sinking fund proposal, will maintain your investment for years to come. Four years ago, in 2020, Goodrich voters were presented with and approved a bond proposal that did not increase the current tax rate. The school district is now on track to have another no tax rate increase bond proposal in 2025 or 2027, and again in 2030 or 2032. The sinking fund will serve as a bridge between these bond proposals, allowing us to keep our facilities in good repair and up to date as the long range facilities plan is implemented. Our school district regularly completes a facility review process to identify short and long term facility needs. This review process identifies potential projects during the nine year life of the sinking fund. In Goodrich, sinking fund projects under consideration include repairing and replacing parking lots, roof replacements, bus purchases, replacing boilers at Goodrich Middle School and Goodrich High School, chillers at Oak Tree Elementary School and Goodrich Middle School, upgrading to our energy efficient LED lighting, updating our Chromebooks, enhancing safety and security, allowing us to focus our future bond dollars on site improvements for Goodrich students in the areas of academics, fine arts, athletics, and our community. Now, let's compare our district to the 20 school districts surrounding Goodrich Area Schools. 16 of the surrounding school districts have sinking funds. Four of them do not. If Goodrich voters approve the nine-year, one mill sinking fund, Goodrich would rank 10th amongst surrounding school districts, tied with Montrose, Lake Fenton, Graham Blank, and Genesee. The one mill sinking fund proposal will cost the owner of a $150,000 home 21 cents per day the owner of a $250,000 home, 34 cents per day, and the owner of a $350,000 home, 48 cents per day, if approved by voters on May 7th. In the coming weeks, much more information about the sinking fund proposal will be shared with our community members. Of course, if you have questions or need information, you can visit www.goodrichschools.org and click on School Election Information. You can also contact me by phone at 810-591 2201 or by email at mbosler at goodrichschools.org. Thank you for listening today. With you as a partner, we will continue creating safe, up-to-date schools that provide a promising educational future for all of our students. Go Martians!